good morning students welcome to our online class so in today's class we will discuss uh, new unit ma partial differentiation correct so in partial differentiation we have a few topics called euler's uh, differentiation euler's equation then jacobian method then functional dependence yeah, functional independent and dependence and taylor's and maclaren series expansion function of two variables and maxima and minima two methods maximum minima for two variables and lagrange is uh, also is there correct these are the uh, few topics in partial differentiation we have in unit 4 correct uh, for for a few jntu kakinada students it is there in unit 4 and uh, usman university students jntu students it is there in like unit 3 unit 2 like that ma okay so now see i am explaining in partial differential equation uh, the topic is what Taylor's and McLaren series expansion of function of two variables. Okay, so here little bit confusion will be there. See partial differentiation and partial differential equations that is different. Both are different. So so many students are little bit getting confusion. Partial differentiation and partial differential equations. So just we uh, go through the topic. Partial differentiation topics are different. Partial differential equations topics are different. Okay. Now here so we will start uh, the topic. In partial differentiation, Taylor's and McLaren series expansion of function of two variables, correct? So, Taylor's and McLaren series expansion earlier also is there for uh, one variable, correct? Now, here we are doing for two variables, ma, huh? right? So, let us see the formula for uh, Taylor's uh, expansion, ma, for two variables. See the formula, ma, Taylor series uh, expansion for two variables. Formula for Taylor series expansion for two variables is f of x comma y is equal to f of a comma b plus x minus a into fx of a comma b plus y minus b into f y of a comma b plus 1 by 2 factorial x minus a whole square f x x a comma b plus 2 into x minus a y minus b f x y of a comma b plus y minus b whole square f x y comma f x y of a comma b f x y comma a comma b plus 1 by 3 factorial x minus a whole cube f triple x plus 3 into x minus a whole square y minus b f double x y plus 3 into x minus a y minus b whole square f x double y plus y minus b whole cube f uh, f triple y of a comma b plus so on. How to remember this formula? See here f of a comma b and this is general right. Now here 1 by 2 factorial a square 2 a b plus b square form. And here, and here it is what a cube plus 3 a square b, 3 a b square and b cube form, right. So, very very important topic ma, Taylor series expansion for two variables, uh, Pakka he will ask you one problem, right. So, understood this is the formula for Taylor series expansion for two variables. Then, what is the McLaren series expansion of uh, for two variables ma, very simple here, what we have to do here, here replace a is equal to 0 and b is equal to for, uh, for McLaren's. For McLaren's series expansion, for McLaren series ex expansion, let x is equal, let uh, a is equal to zero, let a is equal to zero, and b is equal to zero. For McLaren series expansion, what we have to do, ma? You need to substitute a is equal to zero and b is equal to zero. If you substitute a is equal to zero and b is equal to zero, uh, what we get here? What we get here ma, f of x comma y is equal to, f of y is equal, in place of a and b, you have to write 0, right. So, f of 0 comma 0 plus x minus 0 is what, x into f x of 0 comma 0 plus b is 0, no, y into f y of 0 comma 0 plus 1 by 2 factorial, a is 0, right. So, x square f x x of 0 comma 0 plus 2x minus 0, y minus 0 means 2xy, fxy of 0 comma 0 plus y square, fyy of 0 comma 0 plus so on. Understood? Like this, you will get the McLaren series, you will get like this, you will get McLaren series expansion, ma, right. So, both are uh, similar, ma, both are similar. That means, from Taylor series expansion only, uh, we get McLaren series expansion. In Taylor series expansion, if you replace A and B values with 0, 0, if you replace A and B values with 0, 0, you will get McLaren series expansion, 
understand so take down these uh, two formulas ma uh, we'll start the problem on this uh, taylor series expansion and after that we'll see some few problems on mclaren series also right so let us take the first problem okay see the first problem ma expand e power x cos y near 1 comma pi by 4 understand here so don't be confused with the tailored series for singer variable and tailored series for two variables ma here you get x and y terms there you get only x terms right now how to solve here first let f of x comma y f of x comma y is equal to what e power x into cos y then what is the point he gave here 1 comma pi by 4 right so what i get here f of 1 comma pi by 4 this, that this means this is a value and this is b value ma uh, a is 1 here and b is uh, pi by 4 so what i get here e power 1 into cos pi by 4 e power 1 is e cos pi by 4 cos 45 is how much ma 1 by root 2 cos 45 is how much 1 by root 2 i got e by root 2 next uh, partially differentiate partially differentiate with respect to x and y so fx of x comma y first i am doing with respect to x ma so e power x whenever we are doing partial derivative uh, with respect to x y terms are constant if you are doing with respect to y x terms are constant ma now with partially differentiate with respect to x and y first i am doing with respect to x so e power x differentiation is what e power x only cos y is as it is ma right now again calculate fx of 1 comma pi by 4 fx of 1 comma pi by 4 so in place of x write 1 and in place of y you write pi by 4 again e into cos pi by 4 is how much ma 1 by root 2 same thing we are getting right next uh, fy now fy uh, partially differentiate with respect to y fy is equal to e power x into cos y differentiation is what minus sin y cos y differentiation is what ma minus sin y so where we have to calculate at 1 comma pi by 4 so e power 1 minus sin pi by 4 so what is sin pi by 4 sin 45 is how much ma 1 by root 2 so what i get here minus e by root 2 minus e by root 2 correct now f double x means two times partially differentiation of partially differentiation of this function ma already we differentiated here one time correct then next one more time again same uh, differentiation with respect to x uh, what i get here e power x differentiation is what again e power x only correct into cos y is it this implies where you have to find ma at 1 comma pi by 4 see if i substitute 1 comma pi by 4 e power 1 into cos pi by 4 again it will come cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 e root 2 next calculate f x y ma f x y that means so partially differentiation of f with respect to x already is there to this one you need to differentiate again with respect to y ma to this function you need to differentiate with respect to y so what i get here e power x is constant as it is cos phi differentiation is what ma minus sin y why because you need to do with respect to you need to do with respect to y here correct so this implies f x y at 1 comma pi by 4 will give you e power 1 minus sin pi by 4 so e into minus sin pi by 4 is how much ma 1 by root 2 will give you minus e by root 2 minus e by root 2 next the uh, next one f double y of x comma y that means two times partial differentiation of f of x comma y with respect to y ma already one time is here if i differentiate again so what i get here e power x is as it is minus as it is sin y differentiation is what cos y so where we have to calculate f y y at 1 comma pi by 4 so what i get here e power 1 minus cos pi by 4 will give you cos 45 is how much ma 1 by root 2 minus e by root 2 correct so i calculated these all values in uh, taylor series ex expansion ma now substitute these all uh, values in taylor's formula so therefore by taylor's correct by taylor's please write the formula for me here uh, there is no space ma uh, so i am writing directly by taylor's f of x comma y what is f of x comma y e power x into cos y e power x into cos y is equal to what is the formula ma f of what is the formula f of a comma b f of a comma b that means first value 1 comma pi by 4 how much it is e by root 2 correct e by root 2 plus 
x minus a that means x minus 1 x minus 1 fx of a comma b fx of a comma b how much we are getting ma e by root 2 correct f, f, fx of e comma y how much we are getting e by root 2 plus uh, y minus plus y minus b that means y minus pi by 4 y minus pi by 4 f y of y minus pi by 4 f y of uh, f y of a comma b that means minus e by uh, root 2 minus e by root 2 correct plus uh, plus see little bit big no that's what is not coming plus 1 by 2 factorial uh, x minus a whole square means x minus 1 whole square f double x ma f double x value how much we are getting e by root 2 plus 2 into x minus 1 y minus b b is how much ma pi by 4 b is how much pi by <coughs> 4 f x y f x y how much we are getting minus e by root 2 plus y minus pi by 4 whole square f double y f double y how much we are getting ma minus e by root 2 plus so on minus e by root uh, it's not coming uh, one second uh, it's coming no right minus e by root 2 plus so on right <clears throat> like this you need to substitute this uh, all uh, you need to substitute these all values in the uh, expansion mark right now simplify this if it is possible you simplify otherwise you can leave it till here also no problem so how to simplify here e power x into cos y is equal to e by root 2 e by root 2 e by root 2 common from all take out e by root 2 common if i take e by root 2 common 1 plus x minus 1 so plus into minus minus y minus pi by 4 uh, plus 1 by 2 factorial x minus 1 whole square uh, plus 2 into x minus 1 y minus pi by 4 this is minus number plus into minus minus and here plus plus into minus minus this value is minus plus into minus minus y minus pi by 4 whole square plus so on this is the expansion of Taylor series for two variables this is the expansion of Taylor series for two variables very 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 important problem ma. so very simple also see only thing is about if you know how to do partially how to differentiate partially so it is very simple you need to calculate fx fy fxx fxy fyy minimum till here you need to solve if you have a time uh, then you can solve uh, for three times also f triple x f double x y f x double y f triple y like those terms also you can calculate and you can substitute in this expansion ma right so understood this problem it's a very simple topic only thing is what you need to differentiate and substitute the given point and those all values substitute in the Taylor series expansion here please write the Taylor series formula ma i don't have the uh, space here so i i substituted directly in the formula okay so we'll solve another problem okay see the next problem ma expand e power x into log of 1 plus y in terms of x and y up to three terms is asking ma oh boy. up to three terms is asking so okay little bit uh, big problem so no problem don't worry so we'll solve so here he is not given the interval ma what happened here he is not given the interval so if he is not given the interval or neighborhood points so what we have to do here you need to take a value and b value as zero you need to take a value and b value as 0 that means this can be expand uh, uh, using mclaren series right so now let uh, first of all let f of x comma y let f of x comma y is equal to e power x into log of 1 plus y e power x into log of 1 plus y so what is the point we can take here he is not given no take the point 0 comma 0 that means f of 0 comma 0 will give you e power 0 log of 1 plus 0 ma so e power 0 is 1 log 1 is how much 0 so you get first value with the 0 correct next what we have to do partially differentiate with respect to x and y partially differentiate with respect to x and y so what i get here if i differentiate with respect to x uh, e power x is as is ma so e power x differentiation e power x only and log 1 plus y is constant it will stay as is right so now what we have to find fx at 0 comma 0 so fx at 0 comma 0 means e power 0 log of 1 plus 0 will give you 0 correct e power 0 log of 1 plus 0 will give you 0 next uh, fy ma that means with respect to y 
e power x into log 1 plus y okay that part will do here why because this board is not coming so that part uh, will do here with respect to uh, right with respect to y we will solve here ma so f y what is f y i get here f y e power x is as it is e power x is as it is log x differentiation is what 1 by x 1 by 1 plus y so where we have to calculate f y at uh, 0 comma 0 i get e power 0 by 1 plus 0 e power 0 is what 1 so 1 plus 0 is how much ma 1 1 by 1 is 1 by 1 i am getting right next uh, f double x ma f double x means two times differentiation so again e power x differentiation is what e power x only log 1 plus y is as it is where we have to find f double x at 0 comma 0 means e power 0 into log of 1 plus 0 we are getting 0 correct next f double y f double y will give you e power x into 1 by y 1 by x differentiation is what minus 1 by x square means this becomes minus 1 by 1 plus y whole square so f double y at 0 comma 0 will give you e power 0 by uh, minus is there no by 1 plus 0 whole square that means you will get here minus 1 how much you will get here ma you will get here minus 1 right e power 0 is 1 and 1 plus 0 whole square is how much ma 1 so 1 by 1 by 1 will give you minus 1 right minus 1 by 1 will give you next uh, we are, what we have to calculate f x y so that part i am doing here f x y that means you differentiate this value with respect to y differentiate this value with respect to y e power x is as it is log 1 plus y will give you 1 by 1 plus y so this implies f x y at 0 comma 0 will give you e power 0 into 1 by 1 plus 0 e power 0 is 1 1 by 1 will give you 1 ma if you ask you for two terms you can stop it over here if he, if he ask you for two terms you can stop it over here and you can uh, substitute ma but what he is asking here he is asking up to three terms here so three terms means definitely you have to solve uh, one more uh, time differentiation so this one same you will get one more time e power x e, differentiation e power x only log of 1 plus y f triple x at 0 comma 0 is equal to how much ma e power 0 uh, log uh, e power 0 log 1 e power 0 is 1 log 1 is 0 right then similarly f double x y double x y will give you you need to differentiate this part with respect to y so e power x into uh, 1 by 1 plus y f double x y at uh, 0 comma 0 will give you e power 0 by 1 plus 0 is 1 next here i am calculating f triple y ma so e power x is as it is 1 by will give you 2 by 1 plus y whole cube 2 by 1 plus y whole cube differentiation of uh, 1 minus 1 by x square will give you uh, minus of minus plus 2 by uh, 1 plus y whole cube this implies f uh, triple y at uh, 0 comma 0 will give you e power 0 by 0 1 plus 0 1 so we will get 2 what i get here i am getting 2 ma next uh, what you need to calculate f uh, f x double y so f x double y this means you need to differentiate this part again with respect to y here so what i get here e power x is as it is ma so 1 by x differentiation is what minus 1 by x square minus 1 by x square at uh, f x double y at 0 comma 0 will give you how much will give you e power 0 is 1 and this part 1 plus 0 is 1 so minus 1 by 1 will get minus 1 understood so we calculated these all uh, values in taylor series expansion ma we calculated all values in uh, uh, taylor series expansion right now substitute these all values in the formula ma right if i substitute these all values in the formula so what i am getting here by taylor's by taylor's please write the formula i am not writing the formula i am substituting directly by taylor's what i get here e power x into log of 1 plus y e power x into log of 1 plus y sorry sorry not taylor's no mclaren's ma extremely sorry so this is mclaren's by by mclaren's not taylor's because he is not given the point no so by mclaren's you have to do 
by McLaren's f e power x into log one uh, log of one plus y is equal to what is the formula we have f of zero comma zero f of zero comma zero first value is how much ma zero plus x into f x of zero comma zero is how much ma zero plus y into f y f y is what one I got plus one by two factorial x square f double x f double x value is how much ma zero plus two x y f x y f x y is how much one f y y is how much ma minus one plus y square f y y f y y value is how much minus one f y y value is how much ma minus one correct plus f y y value how much minus one correct plus one by three factorial uh, f triple x ma f triple x is how much zero x cube into zero plus three x square y f double x y is how much 1 uh, plus 3 x y square correct 3 x 3 x y square f x double y will give you minus 1 plus y cube uh, f triple y is how much ma 2 plus so on plus so on correct so if I simplify this so e power x into log of 1 plus y expansion up to 3 terms 0 I get y plus 1 by 2 factorial is 2, 0, uh, 2x, uh, minus 2xy, no? Plus 2xy, yeah? how plus 2xy? Correct, ma. So, here only uh, 1, no, fxy, okay. Uh, fxy plus 2x, uh, right? Then y square into minus 1, minus y square, plus 1 by 3 factorial is 6, 0, I get 3x square y minus 3xy square plus 2y cube plus so on, 2y cube plus so on. This is the expansion of e power x into log of 1 plus y uh, by using McLaren's series. Understood how we did a very, very, very important problem. Uh, so, expansion of two variables using Taylor's and McLaren's, uh, uh, he will give you one problem, right? Understand how we did, only, only the concept is what you need to differentiate with respect to x and y partially. And you need to find fx, fy, double x, double y, xy, then uh, triple x, triple y, double xy, x double y, up to three terms if you ask. Then substitute these all uh, things in the uh, McLaren series expansion. If he gave the point, then you use the Taylor series expansion. If he didn't give the point, then take that uh, 0, 0, and use the McLaren series expansion. Understood this problem? How we did? Okay. So, we will start, we will solve uh, one more, uh, we will solve one more problem. Uh, so, you will become more perfect in this topic. Ma. Okay. See the next problem. Expand tan inverse y by x in powers of x minus 1 and y minus 1. See how smart he is. He is not given interval, but he says x minus 1 and y minus 1. That means the interval is what? A comma b is what? 1 comma 1. Correct. So, what we have to do? First of all, let f of x comma y is equal to tan inverse of y by x. What is the point here a comma b 1 comma 1? What is the point here a comma b 1 comma 1 ma, right? So, first what is f of x comma y at 1 comma 1 ma? So, f of x comma y at 1 comma 1, f of 1 comma 1 becomes 1 comma 1 becomes tan inverse of 1 by 1. Means tan inverse 1 is how much ma? Pi by 4. Tan inverse 1 is how much? pi by 4. Next, what we have to do? Partially differentiate with respect to x. First, fx. Correct? First is what? fx. Tan inverse x differentiation is what? 1 by 1 plus x square. Means y square by x square into chain rule differentiation of y by x. Chain rule differentiation of y by x will give you minus y by x square. Very careful, ma. Tan inverse x differentiation is what? 1 by 1 plus x square. Means in place of x, we have y by x. So, y square by x square. Again, chain rule differentiation of y by x, uh, y is constant, 1 by x differentiation minus 1 by x square. 1 into y is what? y. So, what I am getting here? Minus y by, if I take the LCM here, LCM is x square. So, x square plus y square. x square, x square got cancelled. I got minus 1 by x square plus y square. Where? At a wet 1 comma 1. That means, what I get here? Minus 1 by 1 square plus 1, I get minus 1 by 2. You get? 
minus 1 by 2 that is the value of f x. Now, similarly, f y ma if y differentiate with respect to y same 1 by 1 plus y square by x square chain rule differentiation of y by x. Now, we are doing with respect to y. So, y is 1 I get only 1 by x. So, what I get here? So, 1 by if I take the LCM, LCM is x square x square plus y square into 1 by x 1 x 1 x got cancelled this will be x will go to numerator x by x square plus y square. Differentiation of tan inverse x is what 1 by 1 plus x square again with respect to uh, y we have to do so y by x uh, y is uh, 1 and x is constant 1 by x we get ma. So, where we have to calculate at 1 comma 1 if I calculate at 1 comma 1 so 1 by 1 square is 1 1 square is 1 1 by 2 correct that is the value of f y. Next what we have to find f double x right. So, f double x value uh, again differentiate with respect to x here. So, minus y is constant ma. So, 1 by x will give you minus 1 by x square x square plus y square whole square into chain rule differentiation of this part x square 2 x and y square is 0. So, what I get here 2 x y by x square plus y square whole square. See here. Uh, again differentiation right minus y is constant we are doing with respect to x minus y is constant then it is in the form of 1 by x 1 by x differentiation minus 1 by x square chain rule differentiation of x square is what 2x and y square is what ma 0 so minus into minus plus 2xy we got so where we have to calculate at 1 comma 1 if I substitute 1 comma 1 2 into 1 into 1 2 by 1 square is 1 1 square is 1 1 plus 1 whole square 2 by 4 will give you 1 by 2 will give you 1 by 2 correct. Next uh, similarly uh, what we have to calculate ma f double y right. So, f double y may see here f double y f y is what x by x square plus y square this time x is constant will stay outside 1 by y will give you minus 1 by y whole square means minus 1 by x square plus y square whole square chain rule differentiation of x square is 0 y square is how much ma 2 y. So, this will come minus 2 x y by x square plus y square whole square x square plus y square whole square. So, f y y at 1 comma 1 will give you minus 2 by 1 square plus 1 square is 1 uh, whole square. So, minus 2 by 4 will get minus 1 by 2. How much we are getting? Minus 1 by 2 that is f y y right. Next uh, f x y you have to find. Now, f x y may you need to differentiate this part with respect to y or you need to differentiate this part with respect to x. Your wish ma, you, if you want to differentiate this part with respect to y, your wish, if you want to differentiate this part with respect to x, that also will give you uh, same value, that also will give you same value, do not worry. Now, I am doing with respect to, <coughs> I am differentiating uh, this part with respect to uh, y. So, u by v formula, u by v formula minus, u by v formula is what? v square x square plus y square whole square. Uh, v into x square plus y square into differentiation of y is what 1 minus y into differentiation of uh, y square is how much ma 2y differentiation of y square is how much 2y. So, what I am getting here minus so y square minus y square x square minus y square by x square plus y square whole square I am getting. So, where you have to calculate at f x y at 1 comma 1 if I substitute uh, 1 1 square is 1 1 by 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 whole square, 1 minus 1 is how much ma? 0. So, this term we are going to be 0, this term became 0, correct. So, we calculated f x, f y, f double x, f double y, f x y. So, substitute these all uh, things in the Taylor series expansion, right. So, therefore, by Taylor's, by Taylor's, I am not writing the formula, please write the formula. So, tan inverse of y by x, tan inverse of y by x. I am not writing the formula ma, please write the formula. By Taylor's tan inverse of y by x, what is the formula ma, what is the formula we have, <coughs> what is the formula we have? f of a comma b, f of a comma b, first value, f of a comma b, how much we got? pi by 4, correct? f of a comma b is how much ma? pi by, f of a comma b, pi by 4 plus x minus a, x minus 1 into f x f x how much I am getting ma minus 1 by 2, f x how much I am getting minus 1 by 2 plus y minus y minus b, y minus b, b value 1, y minus 1 into f y, f y is how much ma 1 by 2 
plus 1 by 2 factorial 1 by 2 so it will come uh, if it won't come right uh, okay I'll write the down one second okay I'll write here 1 by 2 factorial x minus 1 whole square x minus 1 whole square f double x f double x value how much we are getting 1 by 2 2 into x minus 1 y minus 1 f x y f x y is how much ma 0 plus uh, y minus 1 whole square f double y f double y value is how much minus 1 by 2 plus 1 if you want you can solve up to 3 terms also it will take little bit lengthy ma understand here so like this you need to expand the given uh, function f of x comma y in terms of in powers of x minus 1 and y minus 1 correct that means in your expansion you could you could able to see the terms x minus 1 and y minus 1 understand here so this is the topic of taylor series expansion for two variables ma for two variables please go through this topic uh, <clears throat> and practice this all problems so concept is what concept is very simple you need to partially differentiate given with respect to x y two times with respect to x two times with respect to y and x y and three times with respect to x double uh, x y and uh, x double y and triple x like that so if you know how to partially differentiate then this topic is very very simple topic ma understand so please go through these pro problems and practice these problems so you will become perfect in this method right Okay. Okay, copy this uh, one more. So we'll stop it here.